Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Um, last time we left on a bit of a cliffhanger. We successfully diverted the Marmota um, a little bit too thoroughly, really, for a good rating. But now Alicia is heading toward the Dreadnought and seems to be settled on sacrificing herself to destroy it. And Welkin apparently is going to try to divert her, so let's go ahead and get to it. Love. Two love will follow you forever. Let's see how these cannons fare. Not too accurately, but looks like one did hit. That thing's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I am Valkyria. I never wanted this! There you go. Welkin, are you going to save your girl before she turns into Super Saiyan God? That blue flame, she wouldn't. Fool. What does she think to do? Sacrifice herself and take the Marmota down with her? Good call. 45 degrees to port. All ahead full. Now! <laughs> Alicia! Welkin! Why are you here? Leave! I'm destroying the Marmota. Only I can do it. I'm one life. My death could save a whole country. Alicia, you're wrong. You could destroy them with your power. But that's not real victory. Real victory is something we must claim for ourselves without relying on your power. I can't. Welkin, I can't. Valkyrian blood runs in my veins. I'm not human like you are. You're right. It's true that you have powers that we don't have. But so what? You're still yourself, Alicia. Kind. Bright. A future baker. Alicia, has any of that changed? Uh, you may be Valkyria, but you're still the same girl. Well, can I? You mean so much to me, Alicia. I will not let you come to harm. I will protect you. Alicia. I love you. Welcome. There you go. Alicia. Once this war is finished, will you be with me? would be with you together always yes always all right gg welkin totally worth the burnt lips That's very FF10. I like that. Okay, can we go back to focusing on the big tank heading toward our capital now? Squad 7 moves out. Welkin. Alicia. Woo! <laughs> You're making me blush over here. But, uh, you sure that's wise? You know, this being a combat zone and all. Uh, hey! Just look at the happy couple. And I get the big scoop. Hey. That is, 
I would if it were anyone else. But for you two, well, I'll keep my big mouth shut. Just this once, you hear? Alicia, welcome back. Thank you. All of you. I missed you so. Um, you dropped this, boss. <laughs> so, welcome. We'll hear your orders. We go to hunt the Marmota. We'll head straight for Rangrees. All right, everyone. Let's get moving. Okay, good deal. Chapter 17. The Bridge to Hope. And I have to say that this was handled a heck of a lot better in this game than the anime. Because a lot of Alicia's problem is self. It, you know, it's it's within. In the anime, it, a lot of some of it is from within, but it's mostly because basically people from Squad Seven treated her like crap. I like it. It's it's more of a family in the game compared to the anime. So we got the Bridge to Hope, Champion of a Lost Land. We haven't seen oh, what is his name? We haven't seen him in a while. Jaeger. I like it, like Jaeger. Sir, we're almost to the Great Vassal Bridge. Man, we haven't been here in a while. Good. Once we cross that, Rangrees is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Ugh, the enemy is deployed, blocking the bridge! Those tanks are... That's Jaeger's battalion. Just our luck, it's him. Round two. You see what's going on over with him? Nice of you to join us, my militia friends. Nothing personal, but the road ends here. My country, Firald, needs Maximilian's support to regain its independence, you see. And if it means getting Firald back, I don't mind playing the man's guard dog. General Jaeger! The Gallians are attacking, sir! Let them attack. We'll show them what the tank brigade's made of. Tank brigade, huh? So if that's a tank brigade... Ooh, that's gonna be rough. A friendship lost. We're gonna need some more Lancers. We only have three. Lieutenant Faldio lands it? Get in. At least I get a roof over my head. I feel bad for the men on the front lines. Are they just now putting Faldio in the stockade? I don't get it. How did two squad leaders wind up in a fight? Thought you were friends. No friend could do what I did to him. Now this is supposed to be solitary. Leave me alone, would you? Just don't do anything stupid for the next ten days. Oh, it's just 10 days. That's interesting. Well, Ken, how do we get to thinking about the war so differently from one another? I figured we'd be friends as old men. I still wish that were possible. But I can't deny the feeling that Gallia needs power to survive either. I hope we get the chance to talk this out. To talk about the Gallia we want as old men. Well, Faldio wasn't wrong in his thinking, really. It's just how he went about it. Because I don't... We wouldn't... We wouldn't have won otherwise. Breaching Jaeger's Blockade. So here's the battle of the chapter. And we're at chapter 17. So now it's time for some setup. Oop! Wrong setup. Tab select. There we go. Suddenly I forgot how to do things. Because we got to go at least to the palace. Actually, we probably need to do everything here. I think we're going to get some Lancers here. Get rid of some people that we just don't need. Jane Largo. Hmm. 
I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and... Oh wait, this isn't the... this is just the barracks. My bad. Oh, I'm all kinds of scatterbrained today. Command room. Hello, Welkin. Here to fine-tune your squad? Yes, ma'am. Let's get to it. Now... Let's dismiss some folk. And we've got three Lancers. I think I'll be good with five. So let's get Nadine. We haven't really used her. I'd like to thank you for the time we spent. If you ever need it, I'd be happy to help. Thank you, Nadine. Appreciate that. I like... Let's go ahead and... Maybe one of the scouts we haven't used. Maybe... Nancy? Hans, Vice, Eddie, Aisha, Jane. Yeah, I definitely want to dismiss a scout. How about Nancy? We've never really used Nancy. It was so great working with you. I had a total blast. That's a spirit, Nancy. Good girl. Now we've got Niles or Nils? Walter, Hector, Rosina, you're a Darkson hater, no thank you. Yoko, City Kid Born Leader. Now, if we're going to be fighting at the Vassal Bridge, that would actually... Let's get Yoko. Hi there, I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. We're going to get some experience on our squad. Desert Allergy, Metal Allergy, Desert Bread, Night Vision... And City Kid. Now we'll get Nils. I'm Nils. Nils Dareden. Nils. I'll see you on the field. Yes, sir. All right. I think that'll be good. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. Now this may be a problem for us. We may not need that many Lancers for the battle. I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here. Now we only have thirty-two thousand XP. Because of our super over cautiousness. Trade all you want. I've got all day. And look at that. The only thing that we can really pump up is the engineers to level 16. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. Oh, we still gotta check the old man at the cemetery, don't we? That could have been bad. Come on, give me something good. Hello again, son. I'm sorry. Oh, what did I just say? Crap. No, it's not the time for a some some sort of tank killing order would be amazing. Hey, we'll leave the training field alone. Let's try the R and D facility. We got half a million. Welcome, bro. Let's see if we got any, because we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Yeah, there's only one upgrade left for the scouts. We'll get, let's get that one. But I do like the firepower boost. Now, the reason I did that is because the last thing you upgrade, everyone gets equipped with it. Um, it, it unless you have, like, s super special guns, like you've been given by the princess. Ooh, accuracy boost for the sniper. Indeed. Here you go, bro. All done. And new flamethrower. All set for you, bro. Done. Cool. No max grenade. What about costuming? I think chances are good we'll be getting a lot of these upgrades here before we know it. Now, Edelweiss. Give me some upgrades, please. Anti-armor shell three. All set for you, bro. Our money's actually starting to get a little bit short. That's interesting. 
Nothing there. Okay, we are good. What about the shamrock? No body enhancements. Spare tread to a one by four. Here you go, bro. Now, where do we have that? Ew. Yeah, that's not gonna. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm afraid. Well, no, no, that's not gonna work. Expand capacity one by two. Underside magazine. All set. Now, that's actually that's doable. So let's go ahead and get the periscope out. Hey, how about that? I think that's all. Cool. Now, do we... Yeah, we're good. Let's outfit the tanks. What should the shamrock be this time, guys? We've got the link belt. Anti-armor rounds. Well, we are fighting tanks. Hmm. Well, we've got all those lancers. I'm going to try flame intensifier since we're going to be fighting a lot on the streets. That'll be good against um, people behind cover and such, which I believe that if, if the last time that we were at this battle is any indication, there's going to be sandbags everywhere. So we'll have the shamrock on anti-personnel, and we'll have the Edelweiss and the rest of the Lancers on anti-tank. We'll see if that works. Let's hope. Okay. The die is cast. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. I'm waiting for the comments. What are you doing? <laughs> You're doing it all wrong. Hey. Yeah, I, I don't have the time. <laughs> Just because I, I really think we should have had Marina on point to shoot you earlier. Maiden shield shattered. The massive vehicle spotted exiting the Cloden Wildwood has been confirmed as the Dreadnought Marmota. Developed in secret, this marks the weapon's first use in real combat. Faced with the absence of Gallia's army, the Militia and Rangri's Royal Guard join hands in Operation Maiden Shield, a bid to destroy the Imperial Juggernaut as it traveled to Gully shortly after leaving Cloden. Though the team's effort managed to inflict damage to the tank's starboard hull, the operation ended in failure and the loss of most of the Royal Guard. Upon word of this, Gallian Army HQ ordered the capital placed under maximum security with defensive patrols stationed along the city's perimeter. Probably a skeleton crew. Empire Federation talks fail. The, Europe, the European Transnational Union Security Council entreated the Warring Federation and Empire on the 4th to come together for peace talks, brokered by the ETU. An emissary sent to meet separately with the foreign ministers of both nations reported a disappointing result. Truly saddening, he proclaimed. Neither power show any sign of interest regarding a compromise that might end this bloodshed. Seeing the possibility of peace talks nipped in the bud makes it seem likely that the conflict will grow more heated still before abating. So we technically may be on the beginning of E dub two. So come to me. And you don't have any new stuff for me. Come back. Thank you, Elliot. I will let you live today, against my better judgment. Let's try the audience hall. Wait a minute. Maybe Cordelia can let us know that she is not in the best of minds? Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. Apparently not. For your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, this royal award. Thank you, your highness. Ooh, new machine gun. I think. Mags M20R. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. Well, we know what Rosie's about to get. Now we go to the squad barracks. Make sure that our lancers are equipped. 
Thimer at... Okay. Hold on. Anything... Well, that's more anti-armor. Not by much, though, so we'll keep that. Uh, Jan had the anti-personnel, didn't... Yeah, we need to... 1150... 195... Let's get you with the... M11. Personal with range... Yeah, we need tank killing power, my friend. Gorgeous, as you would say. Galleon 1R, everyone else seems in good shape. Mags M3R. Ooh, upgrades all around. Okay. Now, Hans has the Mags M22. That's the... That's what we just got earlier. Let's see what that does. Mags M22. More personal, but less against armor. About the same thing, really. Hmm. Well, I do like killing power. So, let's go ahead and get you... Everyone with a 22 except for Rosie. Okay. Good deal. Think we are in good shape here, guys, hopefully. And... Well... Interesting. Let's go ahead for the sake of... Let's just... Just to say we did. Let's give Welkin that Galleon 3R. We don't know if we're going to be using him without the tank here before the game's over. Alright guys, I think we are as prepared as we can be. And we're going to be breaching Jaeger's blockade in the next episode, guys. Apparently there's going to be a lot of tanks, so I'm looking forward to this. Hope you guys have enjoyed the setup episode. If you'd like to go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.